Welcome to part 6 of the maze game. Part 6 we're going to be creating a heads up display that shows uh, numbers so as you collect the pickup items it'll show the number. Uh, but before we get started I want to show you guys something. Uh, when you press P and play here you'll notice that the main actor kind of goes through the walls uh, in order to fix that, what you want to do, go back to default here and then click on physics and under physics type change your guy to a rigid body and then go ahead and select the bad guy and change him as well to a rigid body and then go ahead and try it out and you should notice that you won't have that issue of him going through the walls okay alright so let's get started with our heads up display we're gonna be creating a new scene so you're gonna click right here on the plus sign and select new and let's go ahead and name it HUD for heads up display on our new heads up display scene we're going to be adding in a camera so go to add camera and you want to just move the camera up like that and then hit zero on your number pad to go into the camera view next step is we're going to add our plane so we're going to go to add mesh and then plane and you want to use the red and the green arrow to move your plane up to this top left corner of your camera and our next move is we are going to be UV texturing the plane so we can get the number set on it so as you pick up the pickup items the numbers will change on this okay so down here you want to hover till you get a double arrow and then right click with your mouse and when the area options come up click on split area and then that'll give you this white line and that's what I'm dragging with my mouse and you want to just left click and we're gonna break it up into two areas okay so on the right hand side I'm gonna change this to UV image editor here okay so we're gonna go you wanna change this side which is your 3D view change it to edit mode here and you wanna press U to unwrap and when you press U you will get this UV mapping menu and you wanna select unwrap and what we need to do is add in our image okay so we're gonna click on browse image or actually let's click plus nope sorry alright image here we go go to image and select open image and you're going to go to the 506 and the blender folder and you're gonna select this file here it says Arial BD TGA okay and it'll look like that and what you want to do right here under the draw type is make sure you're on textured and you'll see that the texture the UV texture will start showing up okay uh, what we're going to do is you're gonna press S and you're gonna scale this and then hit G and you want to outline this symbol the at symbol right there and if you you go ahead and push period on the number pad you can zoom in on that so hit S to scale and you basically want to get this box I'm gonna hit G and right now you can see that this is upside down so you're going to hit R and you can rotate it and you basically want to look onto the left side here and just make sure that it's right side up okay so once you have that you can go ahead and right click on the middle join area and then make sure that the arrow is pointing to the right 
if you guys see the arrow, the join arrow, and then left click, and that'll join the screen together. All right, so once we have that, we can go back into object mode here, and let's go up here and select game logic, and we'll go to the heads up display scene, and we're going to set up the properties as well as some sensors, controllers, and actuators. Alright, so under add game property here, this is really important. The name that we're going to add here, or the property, is going to be text. And you want to make sure that you have a capital T. If you don't put a capital T here, this won't work. Okay, so make sure you have a capital T for text. Um, and then right here we're going to select integer so it'll be a number and we're going to set up some controls here alright so for our first sensor we're going to make it a message sensor and the subject is going to be pickup and you want it all lowercase like we've done before add in a controller it'll be an AND controller you want to connect them and add in an actuator and our actuator is going to be a property actuator go ahead and connect them the mode is going to be on add because it's going to be adding up basically all of the um, pickup items and each one will have a value of one okay so for the mode you want to make sure that you have add selected if you just have assign which is the default you'll notice that your numbers won't go up when you do this okay alright so once we have that what we need to do is go in and we need to set up some more stuff on our UV texture okay so Let's go back into edit mode here. And we'll go back to default. And you want to go to object data here. You want to make sure that you're in edit mode. And under texture face here, you want to select text. And then under transparency, you want to select alpha. once you have that done you're gonna to go to material here click new and name your material text capitalization for this one doesn't count or doesn't matter and then go up here to texture click new and we'll um, you wanna go for the type here go ahead and select image or movie click both under preview and you're gonna click open and go ahead and go back to the 506 and go to the blender folder and select Arial BD dot TGA and open the image and then under mapping under where it says coordinates instead of generated we're gonna change it to UV alright so let's go ahead and now that we have that let's go back to level one here and let's go to object mode and we'll right click the camera and let's go into game logic make sure you're on level one okay for our sensor let's add an always sensor for our controller select and and then for our actuator we're going to add a scene and let's make sure they're all connected here for the scene we're gonna click add overlay scene and we're gonna add a HUD scene okay so what that's gonna do is on our camera here we're going to have our HUD scene so basically the score up here alright 
So we're not quite done, but I want to show you guys uh, where we're at here. All right, so let's go. Uh, we're on level one, so I'll go ahead and press P to play. And uh, you want to make sure that you're in textured mode. I was in solid mode, so when I hit play, it wasn't showing anything. It was just a box. All right, so we'll go into textured mode, hit P, and you'll see that it has a zero there, and you can see that it's not counting. Uh, there's one more thing that we have to do to make this work. You have to right-click on your pickup item. And see right now, when our pickup item, we have it set up so that when we're near our pickup item, it sends a message to the empty with the subject pickup. What we need to do is add another actuator that is a message. Okay, and we want to connect it to our controller. But this time we want it to send it to our plane. Okay, so if we go to the HUD, you can see we have our plane selected. And it tells you the name of the the object here. So it's plane.002. So we'll go back to level 1. So under 2, we want to select plane 002 or whatever yours is. You have to look at the object that you put in. And then the subject will be pick up. That way we know when the object is picked up. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So I'll hit play, and there we go. Um, and the reason these other ones don't work is because we haven't set it up yet. So what you want to do is delete these. And go ahead and select this one, or whichever one you did that to. And remember, for the first level, we want about five pickup items. So just make sure you have five. Also, um, after you have these, on the second level you're going to want to do the same thing. So you would want to go to your second level and you'd have to select one of these and create a new message to the plane with the subject pickup. That way these worked as well. Also go to your camera, add a um, always sensor and and controller and then for your actuator uh, you would want to do the same thing scene add an overlay scene for the HUD that way the HUD will work on level 2 as well alright so let's go ahead and try that out and then we should be done with this lesson alright so it's counting it is counting Alright, so once I get to 5, it'll take me to the next level. And then I just need to set it up for the next level. Alright, so once you've done that, you'll be done with Lesson 6, the heads-up display.